A United States congressional committee may have to start looking into more Saudi Arabian money flowing into American sports. The Saudis have decided that it is not enough to have merged its live golf entity into the Professional Golf Association or take over the ownership of the English Premier League soccer franchise Newcastle United or having a major stake in boxing. The Saudi government wants more. The Saudis are setting up a multi-billion dollar company that will invest in sports and that could mean putting money in the National Basketball Association or Women's National Basketball Association or National Hockey League franchise. Qatar's sovereign wealth fund is willing to buy a roughly 5% stake in the parent company of the NBA's Washington Wizards, the NHL's Washington Capitals, and the WNBA's Washington Mystics as part of a $4.05 billion deal. Qatar's human rights record is bad, but the Saudi Arabian human rights record is worse, and that could have Congress taking a further look into the Saudis' plans to invest in American sports beyond the golf business. Qatar's so-called success in the 2022 FIFA World Cup as her host may open the door for Saudi Arabia to back a bid with Egypt and Greece for the 2030 event. Saudi Arabia got a merger with the PGA because of money, although that deal could be struck down as part of a violation of American antitrust laws or other countries where the PGA operates not approving the deal. Last December, the NBA opened the door for Qatar investment in its teams. The NBA Board of Governors recently decided to allow direct passive investments in NBA teams by institutional investors, NBA spokesman Mike Bass said. All such investments are subject to the league approval and NBA Board approval. None of the passive investors can take controlling ownership stake in a team. Sports is business. I'm Evan Weiner.